All right, so I believe that there's a theme embedded in every week of the college football season. And the theme this week is the buzzkill. I don't know how much y'all watch Family Guy, but I watch it a lot. And I like to make analogies based on the show. Great show, by the way. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. There's, there's a character that appears in some of the episodes. His name is Buzz Killington. And he just says and does the most buzzkill things. Is that what's going to happen this weekend? Is, is Kansas State, is LSU, Buzz Killington? I'm going to discuss that here. It's November. It's spooky season. This is always a really ominous weekend in college football, too. That first weekend in November, and it's when things start to become real. We've got Texas and Kansas State playing this Saturday. And I'll tell you what else is getting real is this Big 12 race. It's getting interesting. Oklahoma just losing to Kansas last week. I just made a video about that. If you haven't watched that, be sure to stop by and watch that as well. Oklahoma just lost to Kansas. And with that, that leaves five teams at 4-1 and one for their conference record in the conference, which is outlandish. You got Texas, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Iowa State, and Kansas State all at 4-1 and one in the Big 12. So this November, and a lot of those teams will be playing each other in these next couple weeks. So th this November is going to be crucial. It's going to be integral to who is playing in Dallas come December. Texas, let's let's start with the home team. Texas, just like Georgia last weekend, found a way to win given the absence of one of their most impactful players. Quinn Ewers wasn't in. Malik Murphy had to take the reins for the Longhorns this Saturday, and he 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 did great. He did what he had to do to win the game against BYU this Saturday, and they won that in convincing fashion. So that's that. That's another feather in the Longhorns' cap, and on top of that, you you, you just said I've used this word a lot. I'm going to use it again for Texas. Complete. Their defensive line is ridiculous. The pressure that they're able to get against, regardless of opponent, whether it's BYU, whether it's Houston, whether it's Alabama, the pressure that they're able to get is unbelievable. And their their receiving core is just so overwhelming for most corners that they line up against. That they just have that the Longhorns just have an inherent advantage every time they take the field. Plus, I think they have a psychological edge this year. I think Texas has confidence. I think they have an edge. I I, I think they look themselves at the mirror and say, "Wow, we're those guys. We're sharp this year. They're 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 playing with a confidence." And I, I think that it's it's one that could very well carry them to the college football playoff. But that remains to be seen with this spooky November lying ahead. Now. Let's let's shift gears and talk Kansas State for a minute. And you know I'm a huge ambassador of this Wildcats football program. I love what Chris Kleiman is doing there. It's 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 just it's such a well coached program. I think they're like the Utah of of the Big Twelve. You 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 look at them year in and year out, and you think, yeah, they're there, but are they really that threatening? At the end of the day, it's Texas and Oklahoma that rule the roost, or Baylor some years, or TCU some years. But Kansas State, they're, they're like that, that, that background music. They're like that, that, that patio singer when you're eating dinner, that, that, that background noise. They're, they're always there. The Wildcats are always there. And it's because of Chris Kleiman's guidance and leadership. Believe it or not, you look up right now in November, they're 6 and 2. It's remarkable. <laughs> and their trajectory, their path looks almost the same as it did last year. So will they continue to build momentum down the stretch? Will they, will they be the November team? That remains to be seen. Can this help them propel themselves to yet another game, uh, another, another championship appearance in that Big 12 championship in Dallas? Who knows? This It's, it's going to be a thrilling matchup. It's, it, whenever one of these teams come to, to DKR, it's interesting. Like a Kansas State. Like an Iowa State. It, it, it always looks interesting when they come down and play at DKR. And they always... Those those conference opponents at DKR, they always seem to challenge Texas. There's just, there's just something about it. And building off of that, this is one of those games historically where you look at Texas you know, in these past 10 years. They're on a hot streak. They're looking good. And you, you have a game, you have like Kansas State or Iowa State rolling into town. And they have one loss. 
their playoff hopes are still alive. This is a game that historically, and, and I don't want to trigger Longhorn fans out there, historically they lose this game. And they then have two losses, and their playoff hopes dissolve. So this is the game where you, you're going to see who Texas is. You're going to see Texas's true character. Is this really the year? As those Longhorns fans say, is this is this really the year that they get over the hump? That they're back, as they say, that they're back in that college football playoff, or I should say, in the college football playoff for the first time. Ah, I'm gonna swig of water right there as I prepare to provide y'all with my prediction. I'm going Texas 38 to 28 in this game. I think this is the year for Texas. I said this from the start. I made a video about this over the summer. I've said it in every prediction this year. I think that this team is better than a lot of people give them credit for. And and I think at the end of the day, they're going to be in this Final Four. I think they're going to be your Big 12 champion this year. And I think that this game sets up their path to do so. This is a game that historically they lose. But in the year 2023, the year of our Lord, as Josh Pate says it, Texas wins this one. They win this in front of their home crowd. And they continue to build momentum moving forward. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and the time that you took out of your day to watch the video. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and share it as well as subscribe to The Era. The more likes and subscribers I get on this channel, the more resources I can attain and the more resources I can attain, the more value I can provide to you, the viewer. And that is how I show my appreciation for you for the time that you devote to watching my videos. So thank you so much and have a great day.